unicorns, Bigfoot, equal access to healthcare. Why should that be in a list with all these fictional things? Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about and what it has to do with belief. Hey y'all, my name is Kyla Denango. So today we are talking about a phenomenal book, okay? The book is called The Great Believers. <laughs> this book is written by Rebecca Mackay. The genre of the book is fiction, the theme of the book is literature. Off jump, spoiler alert. This book begins in the 1980s, all about people who contract HIV and people who are judged for who they love. And let me tell you, I was a child in the 80s, so I remember hearing about HIV and learning about AIDS after living in the pandemic and seeing all of the misinformation that was going out, seeing all the people who were terrified about how to get it, how to spread it, how to, we shut down. After living through that, to read about how people were victimized and terrorized and isolated, okay, the author did a brilliant, brilliant job. I felt like I was right there in Boys Town, in Wisconsin, finding out what's happening. Like it, it was so, so, so good. So let's get into one of my favorite things about the books is when Yale and Fiona go to pick up the cat of all the people, all the characters, Nico and Terrence and all these, when they remember the cat, I loved it, right? And the reason that's so important to me is because it was so realistic. Fiona was like, oh my goodness, I, I told my brother I would look after this pet, how, how, right? But then also for Yale, and he fed the cat before he left, right? And then life happens and things move on. And so your friends are dying, your siblings are dying, the cat, but the cat is such an integral part of the story, right? You see the cat curl up with certain people and it kind of judges other people, right? And then even towards the end, the cat was one of the last guests to visit with Yale. That was one of my favorite plot twists, okay? Because the cat was all throughout the story. So there was one really surprising thing in the book. This is a little bonus. I could not figure out why we were following Fiona. The book starts with a funeral and that's a funeral of someone that's close to Fiona. But we get to see Fiona 30 years into the future and and how her life is now. And I'm like, who cares? What is the whole point? Towards the end of the book, we find out why Fiona is not only so integral, right? We get to find out Claire's birth story and how that ties into Yale. And so it does come around, but let me tell you, Fiona, okay, whatever, who cares? So would I reread the book, The Great Believers? Yes, absolutely. Because I was not an adult at the time, because I don't have adult memories of the time, reading this book and finding out, like you might as well have just been transported into Chicago, 1987, boom, this is what's happening, right? If you were flying the wall taking pictures, you would then write down your description of those pictures and that would be this book, okay? Absolutely phenomenal. So leave me a comment, let me know. Have you read the book, The Great Believers? Do you enjoy fictional stories? write books that are set in prior times. <laughs> See you on the next video. Bye.